Hey expats and travelers alike, today we're here to talk about expat life in Quebec City. We've broken it down into three parts, moving, living, and working. I'm Josh with Expats Everywhere. And I'm Kaylee. And this is our review preview show. I love to review preview Quebec. I love to review preview Quebec. Oh, I'd love to review preview Quebec. Let's just review preview Quebec. Get this man of puppers. If you know where that little skit came from, comment about it below. Hey, it's one of my favorites. Kaylee doesn't find it so funny, but I think it's hilarious. I think I can only take it in small amounts. Anyway, let's get started with our winner, Quebec City. Quebec City ran away with the votes, winning this poll at 49%. As always, we will start with moving there. There are a variety of visas available for moving to Canada. You have options such as being a student, a skilled worker, moving there with a company, and more. Some of these are more permanent while others are more temporary. Several factors will be assessed such as your education background, work experience, etc. Canada's government website does an amazing job of laying out the different options for you in an easy and informative way. So instead of us going through all of this and listing everything, we'll just go ahead and put the link in the description below so that you can look at exactly what pertains to you. Yeah, and I think that a lot of countries should model their website after Canada's website. It's great. It's pretty easy. Moving on from the visa information, let's talk about climate in Quebec City. So you know how to pack and what to expect out of the weather. The city is fairly far north, so what does that mean? It means it gets cold. Ugh. The winter months generally get around only in the highs of the 20s Fahrenheit and the lows in the single digits, so cold, cold, cold. However, with that cold comes a lot of snow, so it paints a beautiful picture mm. and gives you the chance for lots of outdoor winter sports, if that's your thing. It does warm up in the summer months, though, where it gets into the 70s or so Fahrenheit, and you can comfortably sit outside at a cafe or go to a good festival, which they have. Mm. For those of you who hate the hot weather and love when it gets really cold, this is the city for you. As you prepare to move, you'll want to take a look at housing and certain neighborhoods that might interest you. We've seven neighborhoods here to quickly dissect, and since they're in French and we don't speak French, we're going to pop the names up on the screen instead of attempting to say them. Here is the first neighborhood. This neighborhood is popular with young professionals. It's quite busy with lots of people, but the food scene is big here. Next is this neighborhood, which is right in the heart of the downtown area. There are a lot of local cuisines and shopping here. It's quite a fashionable place to be now, but interestingly enough, it used to be known as the working class quarter. Even though it's known to be a bit more of a stylish district, it's fairly affordable. Do you remember when we were young professionals, young working <laughs> professionals? It seems so long ago. Next is this district which has colorful houses that are right on top of each other. It's known for a more bohemian feel and still boasts trendy bistros and bakeries. This neighborhood is a good location for young families because it's more in the suburbs rather than downtown. So keep that in mind. It's close to many schools, which could be beneficial for students of all ages. Okay, this is an easy one to pronounce, but for continuity, we'll go ahead and stick it on the slide. This area is great for those who enjoy history and historical buildings. Mm -hmm. This neighborhood also has some history to it. It was established in 1634 and is known as the oldest European founded community in Canada. You will also find historic buildings here. This area is in the northern part of the city. All right, the last neighborhood that we're going to highlight is this one. This area is known as the Art District and is great for families because of its lively atmosphere. There's a funky mix of style here, and you can find many theaters and galleries. Let's get to living in Quebec City now. Rent is fairly reasonable in the city, with a one-bedroom apartment in the city center being around 800 Canadian dollars. And if you want to get outside of the city, it's closer to 650 Canadian dollars. A three-bedroom in the city is around 1300 and outside of the city is closer to 1000 Keep in mind that if you want certain amenities, like a pool, then you'll be paying. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant is around 15 Canadian dollars, and a three-course meal for two at a mid-scale restaurant will cost you close to 50 Canadian dollars. So it's not cheap, that's for sure. Right. For those of you with kids, there are several international schools around the city. There are also plenty of clubs to get involved in if you want to do that. And there are buses and ferries available, but many people ride bikes, and the city does a great job of being bike friendly. Here's one catch. The public transportation isn't super well connected, but there are taxis and ride shares available. You might also want to look into getting a car depending on where you choose to live. 
While the city does have some great history and touristy parts, it is lively and has a great bar and restaurant scene. There really is a little bit of something for everyone, so if you enjoy your nightlife, you can get that in this city. If you have a family and prefer something a little quieter, then that's available too. Yep. As far as healthcare goes, public healthcare is only for those who are permanent residents. So everyone else, you need a private insurance. So if you're moving to the city with a company, make sure you talk to them about this. Before we talk about working in Quebec City, we want to take a minute to give a few shout outs to those of you who are commenting on our channel and Instagram. Shout outs! We're going to start doing things a little differently now. We're going to highlight comments specific from the previous review preview show. So if you want to be highlighted, leave us a good comment on this video and see if it's chosen for the next show. The first one is a quick one from a huge supporter of ours, Insured Nomads. They simply said, great insights. Money Bee commented, really great info. This is the kind of insights that would be difficult to piece together without a video like this. Mm. I'd love to be an expat for a bit someday, as travel is one of the primary drivers behind my financial goals. Thanks for the support. We definitely know about wanting to spend money on travel and all the money that you earn going to travel because we like experiences over stuff. 100%. Absolutely love it. Here's a cool one from a longtime subscriber. They said, your content is pretty good, so I wonder why you don't have more subs and views. Anyways, keep working and keep branding your channel well. You'll succeed soon. Love from one of your first subscribers, Achin from India. I hope I'm saying that right. Take care. Achin, your comment came at such perfect timing and was a massive encouragement to us. As we get closer to 10K subscribers, we wonder what people that were among our first thousand or even hundred subscribers for that matter think about what we're doing. What changes have you noticed? Are we making you guys proud? Anyways, leave a comment on this video guys and see if you are highlighted in two weeks time on our next review preview show. Lastly, let's talk about working in Quebec City. It's possible to work within the city and its surrounding regions. If you work outside the city, though, you'll definitely want a car. Mm. Quebec City welcomes many expats as there are a variety of job opportunities available. Now, skilled labor is always needed, but also customer service professions such as salesmen. And those in the food industry, such as servers and cooks, are needed. There are also many administrative jobs and jobs in the health industry. We do have to note that it will be helpful if you speak French. You'll just be more competitive, really. La c'est les bons thèmes roulés. The working conditions are very nice with lunch breaks, certain time off, and more, so make sure that you negotiate these things with your employer. You of course will need a work permit to work in Canada. Check out the Quebec City of Immigration website for more details. LinkedIn and Indeed are great websites to job hunt on. However, networking is still really big around the city, so if you know someone there, ask for help. So, the jobs are out there if you want to live in this beautiful city. You might just have to do a little digging. And it is a beautiful city. Yeah. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on what's happening in the world of expats everywhere. On that note, let's quickly tell you what is happening in our world. Listen guys, I was just able to do an interview with a big YouTube presenter, big YouTuber. Felicia runs her channel, German Girl in America, where she talks about culture differences between Germans and Americans. The channel's taken off and she sat down with me to talk about expat life in Cincinnati, Ohio. Glamorous. <laughs> and also she talks about how she beat the odds with the green card lottery visa. So check that video out. I always thought the green card lottery visa was fake, but apparently it's real. Now yeah. we know someone. Yeah. Josh and I continue to vlog about our move to Portugal. We're currently waiting on our visas and hope to be moving in October. So check out that playlist so that you can stay up to date on what we need to be doing to get those visas and us finally moving abroad. Vamos! <laughs> All right, last on our updates. We have an interview with an expat who is living in Nairobi, Kenya. We had a lot of interest in our review preview show about Nairobi, and we were able to do an interview with an expat about life there. So see what Andrea has to say. All of these links are in the description below. Check it out. We are now moving on to the letter R. So if you are a subscriber, be sure to head over to our community tab page to vote for the next city that you want to see. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button to make your vote count. Smash it. Come on. Let's go. Remember, we post these videos every other Thursday. That's all for this review preview show. We'll see you guys next time. Expats and travelers, we're out. Bye. Bye.